Yes. Is this a recording? Hello guys, Bayani here. Yes, uh, today I'm just gonna show you how to do some uh, coke around the baseboard to for paint, get ready for painting. All right. So I'm just uh, gonna show you. I'm just gonna use this one. Is uh, it dries very fast. It's a brush paint, they say 20 minutes and it's a dry hard so we're just gonna do it and I have a, a cloth in here, it's just a little bit dumb, that way if I make a mess I just clean it up. This one first is just gonna, not gonna cut it too big, not too big holes, just gonna cut it in angle, about 45 degree angle. This one doesn't need to do it, but if you need to make a, a hole under it, you have this one. This is what is it for. In that case, you just push it in. But this one, we don't need to do it. And we just put it in on the gun. And uh, we just go. Just look on a, where is the 45 degree cut and then we just go right to the baseboard right we just have the extra gun in case we find the extra help yeah now this one here you just go gonna go pretty much any size right Just one click one. I'm just gonna go Yeah, just do the little corner that way just to make sure it uh, would not crack, right? Clean it up. Like you say, just uh, nice and tight. If we need to put a, if you see something that you don't like, need to put some little bit of cut, just do it. And just take like a few minutes to do one room. Doesn't take that long and uh, the baseboard here is tight. This is why I have the cloth in here in case I need to clean something. Right there. Just one run with the finger, you see, like nice and neat. It's not that I'm doing the baseboard, but I see here that is a wooden drywall tat. I will do this one too. All the time keep the eye open like now here you guys can see so I join with the drywall and wood. I have it in my hand, I just do it right away.
The secret not to make mess is to cut the tip uh, just a small hole. If you cut a big hole, and then you're gonna make a lot of mess. So this is how it goes. I'm gonna make sure that we are free of dust and some other stuff. Like here, I have a little bit plusk. Make sure it is. Yes guys, here we are. When I told you guys that I have an extra gun, maybe I need to have the extra hand. No, I just want to show you guys something. This is uh, two different guns. This one is go pretty much stop pushing automatically. Like I can show you guys. Let's see. You go, this is a good gun, right? You just go like that. Yeah. You stop, it just stop uh, pushing the cock you now. Okay. The difference with this one work very much the same, except I just show you here. Like you go, see? you stop it, keep pushing out. So you have to at least you have to at least this guy. Let's say you go, and then you at least it works the same as the other one, but you have to all the time to remember to at least the level. See, so you gotta work. You go. Then you release, doesn't happen, but if you don't release the pressure, you see the difference? Just keep pushing it out, look. See that? And then you just, once you see here, I release there, nothing else come out. Just to show you guys the difference between the two guns. So this one would be, save you a little bit time, so if you have to do a lot, on the end of the day, this one is way better than this one. Yeah, when you go into the shop, so you have to look this one. See, this one has a release in here to release the pressure. This one doesn't, so this one goes with do it automatically. So it's very easy to identify the difference between the two of them. See what is the difference? This one we did. The whole job, no mess, just start this one. If you don't use it the way it should, just gonna be mess. A lot of time, uh, many people, they don't know what is this for. This is just to have the pressure. Okay, let's work. Okay, when I was showing you guys, I just made a little bit mess in there. Then I just gonna Run this guy to clean. There you go. Nice and clean. Just need to put a little. Yes, uh, we fill in all this hole in this gem. And it just need to be a little bit sanded before we do the finish paint. Here we have a little join. Like you see, there's a little gap in there. We just go like, put a little bit in there. Nice mic, little little gap is gone. Nice and clean. Yes guys, so this room here you just have to go filling all the little nails around. We are good to go on this room pretty much and we have a few more room to go around, cock it and get it ready for painting. A little gap here to fill. I just gonna fill it in, put one, maybe two. this one is a little bit bigger gap. Gonna gonna it will need a to load it twice because this thing gonna shrink right i just don't want to have to look at the gap in there i'm just gonna feel it it's just uh, behind the door and we are not able to paint inside so yeah i just leave it like that for now and now once this dry i just put another another coat on top of it It'll be just uh, good as new
This was just a very wall and we just left it the way it was. So it's a little bit different in there. Thank you for watch. We are very glad with your support. See you guys on the next video and I love you guys.